Hi, I'm Kevin with Kelly, and I'm here to talk about auxiliary switches and how they are applied in our business to control dampers and control valves. When a building automation system or a control system needs to know status, you know, open closed status of a valve or a damper, typically an auxiliary switch is used. And there are a few choices and a few ways to select an auxiliary switch. Uh, one of the most common is to, is to buy an actuator that already has an internal auxiliary switch. They're the easiest, uh, they're the quickest to install. Here's an example right here. This one shows the auxiliary switch contacts on the label and they're inside, they're built in, which makes it really easy and quick to install and wire. If you find that you need auxiliary switch contacts and your actuator doesn't have them, there are some other choices that, that are available to you. Some actuators are available with an optional field add-on kit or a snap-on auxiliary kit such as this one here, and they're really pretty easy to install. Typically, they either screw on or snap on to the actuator, and there you have it. You have an extra pair of wires with the auxiliary contacts available for you, and uh, those can be really easy to install and quick as well. One thing to know and to remember about actuators that have internal switches or externally uh, field added switches are that they give you status of the actuator itself. They uh, can come loose. If the actuator comes loose from the valve linkage or the damper linkage, what you'll get in the building automation system is the status of the actuator drivetrain, not the damper or the valve itself. In most cases, though, that's not a problem, and uh, these types of aux switches are really popular. Another option for adding auxiliary switches to your control device is to use a TS-470, for example, this is a very popular damper position switch and they're, they're very easy to install, very simple device and cost effective. The attractive thing about these is you can just very easily and simply attach it to a damper shaft and as the device moves up and down, when the damper rotates, it causes the contact to switch, makes it very uh, quick and easy to get aux contact function uh, that way. This device is actually available in four different models. This is a single pole double throw switch, just gives you one set of Form C contacts. It's also available in a TS-470-2, and this has two cables, as you can see. It has two single pole double throw switches inside of it if you need to do two separate aux contact functions. Another device, if you're in a plenum and you have to meet a specification that's calling out plenum rated devices, is the TS-470P that has a stainless housing and it comes with a plenum rated cable. So that's, that's a third option. A fourth one, if your job spec calls for mercury free devices, which many do nowadays, is the TS-475. It has a roller ball inside, it's mercury free, gives you the same type of aux contact function that you need. Last but not least is another solution for aux contacts and that is a whisker switch. The LS-45 is a very popular item it mounts easily to a damper frame and all you need to do is position the whisker on the damper blade for true damper blade position feedback. All these devices are available here at Kelly, so just give us a call. We'll be glad to help you with your application. We appreciate your business and we'll try to make it easy for you. Thanks for listening.